Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to continue my discussion on the Matrix movies. This is The Matrix Reloaded. Now I really like this movie. I don't have a problem with what most people have a problem with when it gets to that part where it gets really bogged down and um, lots of explanation and uh, it, it's a well-known thing. I'm not giving too many spoilers away or plot review plot lines, but this is the second movie in the Matrix trilogy. Uh, came out in 2003. I think it was filmed at the same time as the third one. And that's where I think a lot of the problems really show. But for all intents and purposes, this is The Matrix Reloaded, and I really like this movie. I can't say it's better than the first one. The first one, you know, you catch lightning in a bottle, it's magic. But I do admit some of my biases, so I like to watch B-movies, indie movies. I think... Part of my bias is that uh, as someone who wants to be a writer or has written a novel and published it, I give the benefit for people who try to do something and want to tell a story. And sometimes it's a person who sells the idea and a movie company takes it and you know, makes it garbage, and sometimes it's their vision, or let's say like Rocky for Stallone, who insists that he directs it, and it becomes an icon in the industry. So I think it's more like, hey, look, people are trying to tell stories and give us entertainment. Lots of people work on these things, and I think that does bias me. But I think maybe also my brain is just the right type for this. I liked the pacing of this. I liked when it slowed down and he had to talk to this fucking guy in a chair and find out the behind the curtain stuff and what was actually going on in the Matrix universe. So I since I'm okay with that and I really I actually I actually enjoyed it. Everything around it works for me. Uh You've got everybody coming back. And so you got Keanu Reeves, Lawrence Fishburne, Carrie Ann Moss, Hugo Weaving. And by the way, Jada Pickett Smith is good in it. And the game that came out based on this was centered around her character and her partner. I think his name was Ghost. Was excellent. I really liked that game. I played the hell out of it. I don't know, PlayStation 3, maybe. Maybe even PlayStation 2, who knows. Yeah, I think maybe PlayStation 2, right? Anyway. It's got a good feel. It's got the progression I thought would happen. Um, because, you know, at the end of the first movie, he's, you know, he tenses up and he lifts, shoots up into the air and flies away. And I got to admit, it was a little jarring that the guy who survived the last movie is not alive. And I heard that that's like a contract shit. Like, he opened his mouth and said stupid shit or... Wanted more money. Whatever. I don't know the ins and outs of that type of thing, but here's a new guy doing the, um, I don't know, piloting or the fucking data inputting, and he's monitoring Neo. And I like it. I like where it goes. I like the things it, it fights with. I don't have a problem with it. Yes, it has flaws. It's not um, perfect. But it gets me through. I enjoy it. I come out at the end every time I watch it with a smile on my face. Like, okay, this is good. I like it. I get into it. Um, you find out a little bit more. You get a little impact of the city. I would have done things differently in some parts, sure. But we do have this looming threat. You've got these machine aliens. You know, we didn't see a lot of the... Um, what was behind the curtain, right? We didn't, we got a little peek. And in the first one, he wakes up and, oh no, he took the pill and oh, he's got a, you know, uh, like, what does one of the evil characters say? The guy turns out, like, uh, ignorance is bliss. Now you know, now you're waking up eating 
drool and you know disgusting stuff and you get plugged into the matrix that type of thing and okay so they were balancing it they're going to show what's going on behind the scenes with this uh the survivors of this um cataclysm in a sense i guess we brought it on ourselves that type thing and what are they doing to try to survive you get to see the ins and outs type thing and neo's quest how does it continue and with the oracle uh little i understand it in a way because you know you don't have to have the same actress in a way but okay it would have been nice i think she passed away but there's a premise that i enjoyed that i don't know if a lot of people did and that was smith coming back i really enjoyed the scene where he's got to fight like a hundred of them i think it's in ingenuitive i think uh at the time these movies really pushed the limit they tried to do things other movies weren't doing uh building a huge set uh for the car chase scene even today i watch it maybe if you watch it on like 4k fine but it's hard to tell what's digital they did a great job in that case and unlike the third one i don't see the Hmm. The negatives and the nitpicks overwhelming my enjoyment of the movie. And I think that's the main thing to get take away from it. For me, I can get through this movie and it's a, for me, it's fun. I really enjoy the fight scene in the, uh, what is it, the Merovingian's um, abode. And he's got to fight all his henchmen. I really enjoyed that. It took me back to like the old Show Brothers Kung Fu days. And the chasing, the car scene, and yes, it gets, it, it starts, um, but once you start exposing what's behind the curtain, I think that's a, a negative in itself, just for, if it's not done really well. Now, I, I liked it, but I can be critical and say, all right, you know, they, they shouldn't have, you know, revealed this much, you know what, save it for the last one and kind of wrap it up that way. But okay, I am not uh, prone to just enjoying a, a fun movie, even if it has uh, lots of little plot holes and flaws. I get where they were going with it. I enjoyed it. I don't look for deeper meanings and hidden um, agendas. I just want to escape and really enjoy the movie. And for me, I love the sequel. So. Uh, you know, maybe I don't have high hopes for a lot of sequels these days. And uh, you love The Matrix so much. You're expecting a lot. Uh, it was okay. I still enjoy the movie. I watch it over and over. I don't have a problem with it at all. I don't even cut through scenes and fast forward them. I try to pick things out, something new. And I think it ends weird, but they had a plan in mind. You know, I think Lord of the Rings was smart. You know, just let's just film these movies all together. And it really worked. I don't know if it worked for The Matrix because I think you... I don't know. I think you you, you might want to put, you put them out too soon. I think there could be a problem with that. Now, it might be work great for, like, for me and Netflix now. But releasing everything at once and I could binge watch it. But if you're going to put out the movie, I think you want a little bit of time. Let it sit. Let anticipation build. That could just be me. So, I do see some of the flaws. I do understand people's crit crit criticism of the movie. It doesn't affect me, but I could recognize it. It's not the first movie, and you can't be. Is it what everybody wanted? No, there's a little bit of a, you know, uh, a weirdness in some of the moods, like a character shift that uh, I don't agree with here and there. But I'll say it again, it just the negatives don't overwhelm me. It doesn't change my enjoyment of the movie. Whether that's the fanboy in me, fine. I don't see it as an issue. I do recognize it in people's critique of the movie, but I would always say, you got to watch the movie. Get to the end. I would recommend watching the whole trilogy, even though I think the third one's the weakest and arguably not a very good movie. 
Uh, this one I think is a good movie. The first one's great. Uh, I could say I love the second movie, this movie, Matrix Reloaded, because I get so much enjoyment of watching the first and second one together. It kind of fits. It's the third one that bogs me down, but I don't think that's um, relevant for now. I'll get to that soon enough. I just think that this movie doesn't get a bad rap. I, I think it's done well uh, for me, the way it works personally, the way it paces even the breaks in the story i was interested i wanted to find these things out and i think i could uh relate to people who are really kind of turned off from it i i could see that so i'll be honest i like some of the cerebral stuff here and there and it mixed in well for me but oh look i get it now, the third one, I won't defend too much. Uh, with fucking 18-minute death scene and whatever the fuck it was. I think the second one did some cool things. Some new characters were introduced, some interesting ones. Um, uh, some of the aspects I kind of liked, like, oh, you know, werewolves and vampires, you know. What we think of as a myth and how they could be real and stuff also goes to the matrix and these are different iterations of characters so i recommend the matrix reloaded i like it a lot i could say i love it uh for me as a sequel it really holds up it keeps the first two tight and i do understand the criticism and people's dislike of certain parts but i don't understand how it makes the movie not enjoyable but to each his own these are just my surface thoughts on things. And I think the characters and the actors put a lot of effort into it. Effort into it. I don't see the phoning in aspect. I think I've heard, you know, back in the day when I was on the message boards more often. That might have been something here and there. But, you know, you're in the Matrix and maybe it comes off like that. But with new characters, new, um, a new premise, you're pulling back the curtain, you're taking chances. What are you going to do, right? I think... This isn't a, oh, we got to make money. This was their story they wanted to tell. They told it. And for the second chapter, I really enjoyed it. For me, it, helped, it adds to the first one. It's not better, but it makes it an enjoyable um, you know, chapter for me. I'll see you next time. And I hope everybody's doing good. The elections are coming up. Uh-oh. What are we going to do? Americans. And I'll get back to everybody for the Matrix. I think it's Revolutions. I don't know when I'll release it. But anyway, take care, everybody. Be well.